Do you know if jamuns really don't increase blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having 250 grams jamun and yes, this is the total weight including the seeds. In total, these jamuns are only about 50 calories. Let's see what happens. Look at that plump jamun. I quite like jamuns and I normally have them with kala namak but since I didn't add kala namak to any other fruit, here also I thought I'll avoid it just so that comparisons are fair. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. I did not expect 32 mg. This is just 20% lesser compared to when I had mango which is a very sugary fruit because that had increased my blood sugar levels by 40 mg. I was expecting the result to be much much lesser. Because first of all, the majority of the 250 grams was seed. The pulp in jamun is very little. And second, I keep reading about how jamuns are very good in keeping the blood sugar spike low. Okay, I see what happened. It's the jamun seeds that are linked to keeping the blood sugar spike low and not the pulp. Because there is some evidence that indicates that having jamun seeds in a powdered form before a meal helps in reducing the sugar spike of the meal. But I had the pulp, that's different. Don't get me wrong, the result is still very good and I will continue to have jamuns because they are very nutrient dense. The winner till now is still muskmelon or kharbuja with the lowest spike. Let's see what happens next.